No, look, like, it shouldn't be this bad. What did I do? Oh, Those no. are two nice lines. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kirsten King. And I'm Casey Rackham, and we wrote the movie Crush coming to Hulu on April 29th. And you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're painting a scene from our favorite queer movies. It might not look like the movie, but uh, uh, the spirit is there. But it really should be known that Kirsten and I don't know how to paint. I guess you could say we're artists with words sometimes, but not this. Yeah. We <laughs> made a movie that prominently features art, and we're really gonna do a bad job. Yeah, today, we had to talk so. about what two colors make purple before this, so. It's red and green. <laughs> no, oh, it's, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why she couldn't make purple. <laughs> So Kirsten and I were in a queer writers group together and we had never written together before, but we, I think like literally one day we just looked at each other and we were like, should we write a gay teen rom-com? It was like right after To All The Boys I've Loved Before has come out, which we both love. And we just kept talking about like how there wasn't any high school movie that wasn't about coming out that mm -hmm. felt like kind of our favorites, 10 Things I Hate About You. So yeah, we just basically drank a bunch of martinis we got a whiteboard and we wrote we did and then it was like the next morning it was like what is on this whiteboard but how do i paint a hand <sighs> i think you're doing good that looks like the start of a palm to me reason we landed on track is we basically like went through all the things we did in high school and we both ran track mm -hmm. and that was perfect because my first crush on a girl was she was on the track team and fun fact she's now on my gay kickball team in los angeles so there we go my two best friends on the track team were twins i swear i did not have a crush on them i'm not sure if they believe that they don't but i believe it <laughs> i know she did it okay There's parts of both of us in it and mm -hmm. kind of Casey individually and me individually. I grew up with my mom and my sister, you know, my mom being a single mother. So that relationship dynamic was really important to me. I love that in the script we've written, like Angie just kind of has Paige on her own and is raising her unapologetically. And Yeah, uh, we freaking love Angie yeah. as we love Kirsten's and mom. Played by Megan Mullally, which like, come on. I feel like I saw a comment the other day that was like, oh my God, two sisters that are queer. And I was like, yeah, because my sister's gay and I'm queer. And honestly, that is like the best relationship ever that mm -hmm. I've ever had. Sorry, I'm so distracted on how fast this middle, looks. That's a middle finger. You, you're just flipping me Look, off. I haven't filled in the details yet. I know something else that's from our real oh life. Oh God, you scared me. I was like, is, did I spoil something? No. <laughs> so in the movie, Paige it tells a lot of fun animal facts. Mm -hmm. And one day after when Kirsten and I were writing together, I left her apartment and I'm walking to my car and a squirrel walks by me and Kirsten says, don't make it mad they remember faces. They and I was like, do. and I was like, oh, what? They and do. it absolutely broke me because like with the sincerity and the fear she had. Yeah, but keep that in mind about squirrels, you guys. <laughs> they, they remember. Because they need to know where they put their nuts. And they also need to know who's on their shit list. So squirrels are Aries. We had an absolutely wild bee scene. We were stuck. This was literally like three years ago and we needed to like make a reason for why Paige specifically had to join the track team. It was an absolutely wild thing and Kirsten and I sat in my living room for six hours and we actually have like a really good writing process where it's basically like if either of us doesn't fully like one of the pitches, then we don't go forward with it, which eventually leads to us getting something we're both yeah, happy you, with. You That's get really you're... nice. Thank you, I don't. Wait, no, you did a great job. That is very kind. But basically, we like, I don't even, I honestly can't even remember anymore, but I just remember being like, Kirsten, hear me out. It was a long day. I promise you it made sense, but the end of this very long thing is that Paige is like cleaning up like graffiti from like the track shed. She somehow like, jostles a beehive and the bees start chasing her <laughs> and she starts running onto the field during track practice and they realize she could run and this is based on casey's uh very real fear of bees because she's extremely yeah i allergic. was gonna be like we can't end it on fear i'm very <laughs> allergic i will Which die I, I would be afraid yeah if i was allergic too <laughs> school literally had one 
out person in I think my entire grade. I basically didn't come out as bi until I was in college and I really think if there was more people like you see at Miller High School when you're walking down the hall and there's this queer girl and this queer girl and this queer girl. I feel like I would have come out a lot sooner. Making this was kind of like our utopic high school that we both wish we had. I mean, just like the fact that this movie was written by queer women, directed by a queer woman, starring queer women. I mean, that's big. And we didn't go into writing this, like wanting to make money. We didn't even go into it thinking it was gonna get made. We honestly went into it from such a place of like, passion. We wanted our kid selves to have this, so the fact that actual teens will have this, yeah, like, I could cry thinking about it. Oh my god! It was doing, I was doing- I was about to cry! <laughs> I was doing really well and then I messed up her hair. It's gonna work. Look, look. How? I, How am I gonna fix that? I can't that? judge, but I'm so glad that I looked at that when I was literally about to break because it helped me. Because we, we didn't want a coming out story. Because there's so much more to us. I think um, that like coming out is the worst part. And, and then, the best part, but also the worst part. Well, yeah, because it's like that freeing feeling where you finally feel that weight lifted and get to be yourself, but it's the hardest part. It's yeah. just this technicality that we have yeah. to do. And then it's just like, there's so much life after that moment. Yeah. And just to like give queer people a rom-com with love triangles, enemies to lovers, they have to share a bed, oh my God. I had a difficult coming out experience. Not everyone in my family really got it. And like, I could have written that story, but I would rather write the story about falling in love. Do you think I made the hair look kind of better by doing this or worse? Oh, I think it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's crazy, look at this. It's really good, I love that green that color. That finger is the biggest finger I've ever seen. Okay, this is the hand holding the page from Portrait of a Lady on Fire. The finger is an issue and I see that. Don't you love that green color though? I think it's very rich. I would say this would not even go over well in like a third grade art show. Okay, everyone. <laughs> Do you remember this scene from the iconic movie? <laughs> Stick it! <laughs> this is the bathtub scene. It is a formative scene. It for... was, but that was just an iconic scene. You can... It's amazing. Everyone, watch our movie Crush on Hulu on April 29th. The art will be better than this, we promise. Yeah, there were real artists that worked on this movie. Yeah. <laughs> why she couldn't make purple. <laughs> That's why it's gray.